from Louisiana's home team. This is Fox 8 Morning Edition at 6 a.m. Happening this week, a church returns to the Gentilly neighborhood. Nine years after Hurricane Katrina, the Beacon Light International Baptist Cathedral had been holding services at a reception center, but it will soon be in a permanent home. And Bishop Daryl Brister joins us now with more on this uh, major milestone for them. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much, Liz. Well, congratulations. Uh, it, it took a while, but you're finally heading home. We've got some pictures to show, um, you know, just what this church you know, sustained after Hurricane Katrina. You know, tell us what the situation was like that morning after for you. Oh my God, Liz, it was unbelievable. I still remember it to this day. Um, the mayor at that time allowed us to use one of the military trucks to come into the Gentile area. Now this picture is actually about a month after the storm. Um, the waters had gone down to about four and a half feet, but as you could see, it was still virtually impossible for us to get out of the truck. I was stunned. It looked like something I uh, seen from a horror picture. It yeah. was as if I could not believe that this was actually happening. And when you say a month, it really drives home how long it took for us all to emerge out of this catastrophe. Um, how big is your membership? Prior to Hurricane Katrina, we had about 8,000 members. Wow. Yeah, we were having a Saturday service, a 7.30, 9.30, and 11.30. We had three services on Sunday and one on Saturday. And at that time, the sanctuary was able to seat about 1,500 people. Uh, and so we were seeing 6,500 people every weekend in worship. And you, where did you, where were you able to do all of this with all of these people? Yeah, I mean, we were able to utilize the cathedral. We would have a Saturday night live service. We'd have three services on Sunday morning. Uh, and it would just be a system that we'd have to actually rotate the people out and then get them in for another service. And overnight, Liz, we go from 8,000 members to about 300 members. Wow. Our membership end up being scattered all over the United States, 31 different states our members found themselves in. Okay, well, let's get, talk the good news now. Let's talk about this weekend celebration. Yes, we are so excited. Nine years to the day, mm -hmm. this Friday at 6 o'clock p.m., our mayor and so many of the other city officials will be sharing with us. We'll share our ribbon-cutting ceremony and have an opportunity literally nine years later uh, to return back to Beacon Light. We have been able, uh, the journey, I cannot even explain it. It has literally taken us uh, nine years, but God is yet faithful. Well, there's a saying, you know, all things are lessons God will have us learn. What That's do you think right. the lesson is you and your congregation have all learned from this? Oh, my God. It was so much. And first of all, number one, not to take anything for granted. Uh, our membership was just flourishing. Great ministry. We had employees. Uh, people's dreams were being fed on a weekly basis and then overnight. For me, it has uh, taught me never to take anything for granted and then maximize the moments that you have. I just believe if there's a song you need to sing, sing it while you have time. If there's a testimony or encouraging word that you need to give, we need to do it while we still have time because tomorrow is not promised. That is so true. And once again, where you want people to show up to celebrate this Please, before you leave? 1937 Mirabu is the address right there in the Gentilly area. We're on the corner of Mirabu and St. Anthony, 6 o'clock p.m. And then we'll have a wonderful service at 7. This Saturday, we will have also a community outreach event uh, with People's Health. We're giving away back to school supplies, free health screening, food, games, and it's all free and open to the public. This coming Sunday, Liz, will be our first service on Sunday morning, 8 o'clock and 1030. Well, Bishop, congratulations and thank, thank you, you so much for coming in. Some uplifting words to start off our thank Monday. So much appreciated. Much. All the best.